most frustrating things about finally getting into personal development, finally reading or consuming material you know is growth oriented and is going to help you level up, but then you read a book like this and then a month later you realize you didn't apply any of the material in your life. You haven't done anything to actually get better and honestly, after going through 250 pages, you don't even really remember what the book was about besides just the title. Well, in this video, I want to introduce you to a four-step process I use for turning books into one-page, simple daily habits you can apply right now in your life to level up. What's up, guys? Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, the first link in the description is for a free journaling worksheet. That worksheet is going to help you plan out having your most awesome year ever. And if you add your email to that list, you're going to get an email every three days on how to use journaling to figure your life out and set goals that can totally transform your life. So check out the first link in the description there. So for me, the process of actually turning a book I read into actionable material is a few key steps. The big picture is that I note the passages I want to keep in a one-page document. I write down a one-page summary of the book with all the key principles and the key thesis concepts. And then after that, I apply them in daily habits that I then add to my goal sheet for the week. So the first step in this process is that as I'm reading a book, rather than highlighting or underlining, I just place dots in the book. So the point of me having dots is purely just because I'm a neurotic perfectionist and I really hate ruining a book with underlying. So rather than underlining, I'm just putting a black dot next to a sentence or next to a chapter that's really critical. And as I find the things that are important, then I can very quickly flip back through the book and in the margin, I see all those black dots that were annotated for the points I wanted to keep. The second step for me is to always take that material I've put into the black dots and I scribe it into either a one-page document on paper or a one-page document on Evernote. Now the catch is that no matter how good the book and how much material there is, you have to narrow it down to one page. That for me is the discipline of sifting and going through the material and trying to really squish your brain and figure out what's truly essential. What's the stuff that's actually really going to help you live a better life that's related to your circumstances? Or, for example, if the book is called Peak, Secrets from the New Science of Expertise, well, what were the secrets of the new science of expertise? You could list out the key principles and then some very quick teaching points or stories that help you remember them. The third step for me is that at the bottom of the document, to turn all of this amorphous material into something tactical and actionable, at the bottom, you're just writing down my three new habits. So for example, here's another book I have read recently called The Templeton Plan. And in The Templeton Plan, on the bottom, I wrote down my new habits. So I'm taking a book with all this interesting material and ultimately it's there to level up my life. So not only is there info, there's also what I need to apply. So what are the habits relative and related to my life I need to work on. Write those down. And the fourth step is that if you do have some kind of daily or weekly goal setting practice, to actually write down what those new habits are you're working on. So let's say for example, I wrote down like in a Templeton plan, my new habit is to be more frugal with how much I'm spending on rent. So then I could, you know, it's not necessarily an actionable habit now, but I could write that down. I could write down, reinvest money in new personal growth material. So then my habit would be saving 5% of my income or 10% and I'm going to reinvest that into my life for materials that can help me live a better life. Now for me, my weekly goal setting process is kind of threefold. It first of all revolves around a weekly strategy page I do in Evernote and then it revolves around a whiteboard I have behind my computer daily and a weekly mastermind call that's one hour. So for me, Whatever those new habits are, I just add them to that three-step goal setting process I use. So remember here, the goal and the point of the process is not that knowledge is just power, so we should write down all these notes from every book. 
not true. Like the saying goes in Think and Grow Rich, knowledge is only potential power. So if we don't apply it, then what's the point? It's like knowledge about how to lose weight is worthless, literally worthless. You could have 50 books like this, and if I don't do anything different, and I don't lose the weight I want, what's the use? You know, no library is useful at all if it's not applied. It's just sitting there collecting dust. So my philosophy is for self-growth material, I want to use it to apply to my life and make my life better. And this is just the system I've come up with that I think can help you a lot. And again, remember, the first link in the description is for a free journaling worksheet that'll help you kind of get clarity on what you really want from life. And then each week, you're going to get a weekly journaling email on specific journaling exercises you can use to figure things out and kind of get yourself to that next level in life. So you can check out the first link in the description there below. And then right after that, come on over to my next video there and right there.